Wow. What's up, everybody? My name is Justin French. Current music for those who care. The reason I said L wasn't because of the fact that my class ring hit my forehead. It's because of the headache that I'm about to suffer after this review. So, what album gave me such a headache? Theory. Theory of a Dead Man. Nickelback Jr., whatever you want to call him nowadays. Wake Up Call. And I feel like after this album's cycle, Theory of a Dead Man are definitely going to need a wake-up call. Because this album is totally horrendous. Here's how I think the record label... This is what they probably thought. They probably didn't give it enough confidence. So they sent it up to parent label Atlantic Records. By the way, Theory of a Dead Man were signed to Roadrunner Records since about 2001, 2002. They probably gave this album no confidence. And during the board meeting, I'm sure, if they have one. They're probably like, <coughs> oh yeah, you know. I think that this album is too poppy for our rock and metal based label. I think 10 year olds could probably appeal to this more. Actually, I think 10 year olds could write better music nowadays. It happens. Anyways, RX was the first song that was released from this record. It was very vibey, but then the lead singer Tyler Conley started rapping on this track. And the freaking chorus is what kills this song. I am so freaking bored. Yeah, I'm freaking bored. Freaking bored of this monotone voice that you use for the same chorus over and over and over again. Now to the fact, there you go, dead man. Just please stop rapping in general. It's not good. Also, I like, I guess if there's one positive, they did change up some of the music style with adding piano into this, but that's a slight positive. Not very much of a good positive. But you get track like the title track, Wake Up Call. My question is, Autotune. I mean, I thought rappers nowadays had it worse. I thought they used it too much than they're supposed to. But in a theory of a dead man song, especially in a record, I want to know why. There's even a cover of Chris Isaac's Wicked Game, which closes this record. I don't want to say it. I really don't. There's one word I had to describe this song. Half assed. That's how I feel about this whole record. Actually, I can't even remember anything else besides those songs that I've re really talked about. Is anyone else? I don't. Anyways, if you're a Theory of a Dead Man fan, that's great. That's fantastic. If this record, if you like more pop rock than maybe metal, and you like to see them experiment, you might like this record. Me, absolutely not. Because I think Savages, their previous album, was a lot better than the two that they released. Yeah, it's not as great, but it's def it definitely was a return to form of the heaviness of the first two records which were the self-titled and Gasoline. But, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say this right now. As much as everyone hates Nickelback, at least Nickelback tried to go for a more heavier sound this time. At least I really enjoyed some of that record. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed some of the record. Uh, Feed the Machine was a pretty good lead-off song. What else was there? Uh, Song on Fire, yeah, that was a ballad, but I mean, it wasn't that bad of a record. The the Betrayal, Act 3, fantastic. And even the closer, The Betrayal, or no, I, yeah, The Betrayal, Act 1. That was something different that Nickelback ever did, which is adding an instrumental to their 
album. Whereas this, this is taking two steps back from the previous release. I'm not gonna lie. If I had to choose between which, it's gonna be a tie between which record I think is worse. This or Chainsmokers. Because this is definitely going on my worst albums of the year list. And even if it doesn't make the top three, five, ten, it's definitely going as a contender for that. So that's what I think of this record. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it a two out of ten just because I think the slight positive is the adding piano into some of the songs on this thing. But it's very forgettable. So, yeah, thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, to the YouTube audience, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, you can click right here to catch up on anything that I've ever put out so far or just whatever I'm about to do next. If you would like to watch the previous video, or I'm sure you can watch my pain again in another video, you can click right here to watch that or another previous album review, which I think anything so far is better than this. So thank you all for watching, and uh, if you plan on listening to this record, bless your heart. Dear Lord.